Well, good morning, everyone. We're reading from Daniel chapter 2, verse 1 this morning. In the second year of the reign of Nebuchadnezzar, Nebuchadnezzar had dreams. His spirit was troubled, and his sleep left him. Then the king commanded that the magicians, the enchanters, the sorcerers, and the Chaldeans be summoned to tell the king his dreams. So they came in and stood before the king. Now yesterday we talked about how God's primary way of speaking to us is through Scripture, through His Word. But throughout Scripture we find God speaking in multiple different ways to different people. Uh, in the time of Joseph, Pharaoh had dreams given by God, which Joseph then interpreted. And as we read through the story later on in this chapter, we discover that these dreams that Nebuchadnezzar has are from God. I wonder whether God's ever spoken to you in a dream. I can think of two situations or two times in my life when God's spoken to me through a dream, and both had significance uh, to those moments, to those dreams. But whether you've been spoken to by God through a dream or not, God wants to speak to you. Here, God speaks to a pagan king. Throughout all of Israel's history, God spoke to them in many different ways through the prophets. But the author to the Hebrews says, in these last days, God has spoken to us through his son. And Jesus, as we saw yesterday, is the word of God. He is the personification of God. He is every, every message from the Father is in Jesus to us. And so we relate to him. And if we will fill our minds and our hearts with scripture, we will begin to know uh, Jesus speaking to us, Jesus' tone of voice. Now, Jesus said, my sheep know me uh, know my voice and the voice of a stranger they will not follow. My daughter has grown up hearing my voice in her life. Uh, and I imagine that if you were to come and try to imitate me to her, you wouldn't fool her. Why? Because she knows me so well. She knows my voice so well. And so it is with us as Christians that as we begin to get to know God, we begin to know his voice. And we begin to understand when he's speaking to us and what is him speaking, what isn't him speaking. We get to know his voice. God wants you to get to know his voice. He wants you to understand when he's leading you, when he's directing you. Through all of history, God has directed men and women by speaking to them. God spoke the words, let it be. And that was the beginning of all creation. Jesus spoke, it is finished. And that was the final moment of our salvation coming into effect. God wants to speak to you. Now, whether you feel like you're familiar with his voice or not, you can start that process today. Just as you're praying, you can pause and give space and time for God to speak to you. If your prayer is one continual monologue from you to God, you're probably not going to learn how to hear his voice. But if you give space and time expecting that in your prayer you are conversing with him and the Father wants to speak to you, gradually over time you'll begin to discern his voice. So why don't you do that this morning? Why don't you take a few minutes as you pray, pause, invite God to speak to you. And over these next days and weeks, you will gradually, if you don't already, you will gradually begin to get to know the voice of God speaking to you. Well, have an amazing day and I'll see you tomorrow.